currently, we have 186 patients uh, who are currently hospitalized between Mary Washington Hospital and Stafford Hospital that we are treating for COVID-19. And I want to be very specific about that. There's been some controversy out there talking about people being hospitalized with COVID-19, but not really. They're here for something else. We're here at Mary Washington Healthcare and really every hospital in the state of Virginia has been pretty good throughout the entire pandemic where we are reporting uh, patients who are hospitalized for COVID-19 as their diagnosis. They're here because they require hospitalized care for COVID-19. That is their diagnosis of while they're here. I want to just spend a little bit of time on the graph and go all the way back to the left, the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, on the right side is where we are today, but that left side, remember back when this pandemic started in the spring of 2020, we were bracing and having town halls with everybody here. The yellow line, that's the number of patients we had as inpatients on any given one of those days. And you can see, even in that early spring of the pandemic, when we were bracing, the, the most inpatients we had really at any point in time in the early part of that pandemic, 30 inpatients between Mary Washington and Stafford Hospital. Then you get to January of last year, a year ago today, when we really had our peak demand. And you can see that yellow line goes up to 100 inpatients that we had really just at about this point last January. We peaked at 100 inpatients. Uh, it rapidly dropped and we had another, another surge in the spring. But in I want to take it to July of 2021 on that graph where you can see there was a six-hour period in the summer, June 28th where we had no inpatients hospitalized at Mary Washington Hospital or Stafford Hospital for COVID-19. And uh, at that point in time, most of the community was getting uh, vaccinated. We were feeling pretty good, but the Delta variant, the mutation started to happen. That Delta variant came out and it really, uh, you can see what it did to us in the fall where we got back up to about 76 inpatients. We started to recover from that here coming into the holiday season, but really, from Christmas until now, look at the slope of that graph. And so we have roared past our high of last winter where we had about 100 inpatients. Two days ago, we were at 197 inpatients between Mary Washington Hospital and Stafford Hospital. Currently, we're at 186. Really just unprecedented care demands placed on our system from the number of patients in our community that require hospitalized care for COVID-19. Uh, the next graphic we show, we like to share, we talk, we're able to look at the inpatients who are under our care and we know their vaccination status. We know in the state of Virginia, actually for adults 18 and older, about 80% of Virginians 18 and older are fully vaccinated, right? And that's good news. So if, if COVID was prevalent equally throughout our community, we would expect 80% of our inpatients to be at least blue, and that's not the case. More uh, of the uh, figures on this graph are the yellow color for not vaccinated. It's taking a larger toll on the unvaccinated. There are some breakthrough infections amongst the vaccinated population. It's why it's important to get a booster. If you're more than five months out from your initial vaccination, you need to receive a booster. It's very, very helpful. And many, many, many of our vaccinated patients that are blue in this figure, were eligible to receive their booster. They were more than five months out. Uh, and then there are very few boosted individuals, some of those immunocompromised individuals that are not able to mount a response to the vaccines uh, who also are requiring hospitalized care at this point in time. I wanna talk about the burden that we're seeing in our intensive care unit. Uh, we have 38 licensed ICU beds at Mary Washington Hospital, six licensed IV ICU beds at Stafford Hospital. They are typically usually filled with the routine emergencies, medical emergencies that happen in our community, the heart attacks, the sepsis cases, the patients that uh, have an aortic dissection, something that requires hosp a hospitalization in the intensive care unit. Right now we have over 33 ICU patients that are uh, in our ICU because of COVID-19 and over 20 of those on ventilators. That's double the amount of patients on ventilators that we've had at any point in time in the pandemic. And uh, it is putting an extraordinary burden on our health system.